Hello guys and uh, welcome back to the uh, part 2. Now in our first part we created a dog class and then we created the init method which is the default constructor of how we want the instances of the class to appear and we created a dog instance called tiger and then we created an object of the class tiger so we could use the dot notation to call the bark method and pass in a sound called off and then we printed that to outputs. I uncommented this because, uh, you know, if I run it right now, we're not going to see any results because I just simply uh, commented that out. So if I uh, comment just this guy and get rid of that uh, hash symbol and just run the code, you can see that we get that result. So I actually commented so the screen will not be uh, kind of clunky. So that's why I commented uh, this out. So let's go ahead and populate our uh, golden retriever class. Now what we're going to do is to override the uh, methods that already uh, exist. Now a method exists within a uh, parent class, like a class structure. It's a function but it exists within a class structure and it's called a method. So right now what we're going to do is to uh, override. And actually whenever you think about overriding, just think about taking a ride or catching a ride. When you catch a ride, you're tr moving to another location from one location right so when you override a method it simply means you are actually you know getting the method from another location in a location where you are right it's like basically doing an uber right so we're going to uber this method this init method right now so we're going to be calling that uh, method and simply that's what uh, overriding uh, means so whenever you hear override, just know you're getting access of a method from another location. So you want to use it in your current uh, location. This time you want to take yourself uh, there. So basically that's uh, the idea of uh, overriding the uh, method. So enough of overriding the method. Let's go ahead and populate our uh, golden retriever uh, class. So what I'm going to do right now is to just uh, get rid of this pass and get rid of this pass also. And let's just go ahead and give ourselves some kind of real estate to work right here. So I already have an uh, init method. So I'm just going to override the uh, speak right now. So let's, I'm just going to see def speak. I'm going to pass in that. Uh, so I'm just going to pass in self and uh, sound also. All right. So just self and sound. <laughs> And yeah, let's see, we have the same thing here. Yeah, good. But this time around, I'm going to set a value for the sound. And I'm just going to say, uh, woof. Because, you know, dogs actually woof. If your dog doesn't woof, then, uh, you know, something wrong with your dog. And basically, what I'm going to do is to return super. Now, the super uh, keyword is a Python keyword that tells us that we want to actually borrow a method from the parent class. Now this is the parent class called dog. It is called a uh, parent class or base class. That's what this class is. And then this guy who is inheriting from the parent class is called a child class or subclass, like sub zero. Maybe sub zero actually overloaded from Grandmaster. I think that was that's what happened. So anyway, we're going to use the uh, super keyword and then we press the use the dot notation to have access to the function we want. So this time around, it's a uh, speak, right? And then we're going to pass in the sound because speak accepts one parameter, right? Remember in the speak method, uh, bark rather, not speak. Let's just call this bark. Bark, yeah, we we'll call it bark because we don't want to run into uh, some serious S F F um, errors. So Python will search for the dog class speak method and call it with the variable sound. So that's what it's doing right here, right? It's going to call that uh, variable. So let's do the same thing for the uh, Siberian uh, Husky, right? So we'll just copy this and we'll just paste it underneath. <clears throat> that's cheating that's cheating but sorry guys <laughs> so we'll just say gr 
uh, I, I can actually do a serious dog uh, voice and which is kind of like super weird so it's also going to return bark dot uh, return super dot bark sound so basically that's what it's going to be doing so uh, yeah if we do this we can actually go ahead and uh, call these examples right so let's just create a few species right here let's just go underneath corgi and just create two instances so let's just say creating instances right here so what i'm going to do is to create a dog called rambo because you know rambo is super awesome and it's going to be the golden retriever because you know he's in the jungle and he can seek you out like that and the dog name is going to be rambo and we're going to pass in the age i'm going to put three you know what what about we said it three let's just say he's a really badass dog so he survived for he lived for 20 years yeah and then let's just say snoop and the class is going to be a siberian husky <laughs> imagine snoop is a siberian husky uh, that would be super weird and his name is going to be uh big snoop dog sorry about that my alarm just uh Big Snoop Dog, and he's gonna be just just five, just four years old. I'm Big Snoop, and I'm a doggy, and I'm four years old. So what we're gonna do right now is to print out the uh, the results of uh, these two uh, dogs. Now we are not using the str method, so I'm just gonna say print. Yeah, uh, so let's just see f string. And we're going to use a backspace and a collie brace. Just see Rambo like that because we want to print out the Rambo results. And let's just put a small smiley symbol like this. Just put it on a new line. And yeah, let's put another tab. And let's just see Snoop Doggy Dog. And put a smiley symbol. Now, that's the cool thing about the uh, pretty printing. You can always, you know, you know, display how you want your uh, code to look. Yeah, you want, how you want it to look. So let's go ahead and see that. Said Siberian Husky is not defined. So let's see. I think we have a spelling. Siberian. Oops, sorry about that, guys. I forgot the K. And it says Rambo is 20 years old and a smiley. And it says Big Snoop is 4 years old. And a uh, smiley also, right? So that's how we put it. If we want to uh, use the str method to display these guys properly, we could just do uh, an str, just like we did right here. We could just do an str underneath, and it's going to use that format just to show you another way of actually um, calling out this. So uh, yeah, in our uh, next lesson, we're going to work on the uh, corgi instance and uh, look at much more. Uh, complexity and understand object-oriented programming. See you in the next lesson.